Renault, or if you want to pronounce it properly, Renault, have just released in Europe two new electric vehicles that I quite like, actually, and would like to see them in Australia. So Renault has gone and released at the Paris Motor Show uh, two new vehicles. Now, I'm not actually thinking about the Renault 5 E-Tech. I'm actually thinking about their updated Twizy. And they've called it the um, Mobilize Duo. And it's basically a quadricycle with a steering wheel and two seats. And they're one behind each other, like on a motorcycle. Now, in Europe, you can drive these sorts of things from a very young age, I think it's 15, without a license. Over here in Australia, we're a bit more backward than they are. It doesn't even have a category here. Um, so it should be classed in the motorcycle group, although it's got a steering wheel rather than handlebars. So who knows what the government here is going to do. But you know what? I quite like these. These are great for running down to the shops to get something because you can travel down there very speedily because these little things are no slouches. They're not exactly speedsters either, but you can pop down to the shops. They're easy to park. They're very cheap to run. They're very cheap to buy. So let's just go over the things that I know about it. These, they're coming in two versions. There's um, the Duo and the Bento. Now the Duo is the two seat successor to the Twizy. And the Bento is a micro van, which is due a bit later. And it's got 649 litres of storage space in the back. So it's about 2.43 metres long and 1.3 metres wide, which if you put that into perspective, it's um, half a metre shorter and 10 centimetres narrower than the original Mini from way back in the 60s. Um, so you can park three duos side by side in a standard parking space. So you've got a standard parking space. One, two, three of these duos can park there, not stick out into the road or anything. Um, so they're great, in my opinion. Um, so what I know about them is that they're actually made in their... Uh, Renault's group Tangiers factory, uh, Morocco. Now that factory is currently running on 90% renewables, aiming for 100% very soon. So that's good. But there's more. The uh, duo is made from 45% recycled materials. And they claim that 95% of it is recyclable at the end of its life. This is great for the environment. So it's made from recyclable materials that can be recycled at the end of its life. Um, look, what more can you say? Over in Europe, it comes in two versions. I believe they're called the L6 and the L7. Now, the um, L6 has got a top speed of 45 kilometers an hour, but the L7, it's 80 kilometers an hour, which is about 50 miles per hour. And the pricing of the top model is um, under 12,000 euros, which is about 21, 22,000 Aussie dollars. And it actually does come now with an airbag for the driver. So the, the duo has got two seats, as I said, behind. The driver's got a steering wheel and he's got an airbag. The Bento, which is that little delivery thing, um, has got one seat, but it's got an airbag. Um, it's got a 48 volt electric motor. The battery is one uh, pack out of the new Renault 5 e-tech which has got five packs 
um, and I think it's 52 kilowatt hours in that. But this, therefore, has got a 10.3 kilowatt hour battery. Now, it is an NMC, but, well, you know, not too bad. Um, with this, it charges on um, AC, but because it's only 10.3, your AC at, you know, 10 amps, 20, 240 volts here, which is two just over two kilowatts you're going to charge that in five hours but they say if you plug it in over lunch for one hour you add 25 kilometers of range um that's not bad now it does i believe have a fast dc charger which will take up to wait for it three kilowatts yeah okay well better than nothing i suppose um, but you can easily charge this after four or five hours overnight. And its range is not to be sniffed at, really, for something this small. The Duo has got a WLTP range of 161 kilometres or 100 miles. It's actually WMTP, which is motorcycle testing, which they've got in, in Europe. And the Bento, which is the one with the little delivery thing on the back, um, will do about 10% less, about 149 kilometres. And they say that it will still be, their, their range was going to be in excess of 100 kilometres for most drivers, even in winter. Now, that's winter in Europe where it snows and it gets cold. So I think in Australia, you'd be able to knock out 120 kilometres out of a charge. And a charge being 10 kilowatts, that's only three bucks here in Australia at 30, 31 cents per kilowatt hour. Three bucks. OK. And you do 100 and whatever Ks. For running down to the shops, it's brilliant. It's what I would call a city vehicle. You don't, you're not going to take this on a trip around Australia. Well, I don't think you would. Um, so... I think that's great. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to find a bit more about it, then um, the Renault have got their own little website on it, mobilize.com. And you can see here that they've uh, got the two pictures there. Uh, the Bento on the left with its 649 litres of cargo space and the Duo on the right there, which will take two passengers behind each other, just like a motorbike. If this comes to Australia, it's gonna to have to have a few problems with red tape to get on the roads. But if it could, I think this would go great guns. I'd go out and buy one if it was a very cheap one, you know, in the $20,000 bracket, I'd use it. I'd be popping down to the shops with it um, quite happily. Uh, what do you think? So, yeah, I'd be interested in your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget, while you're down there, there's that like and subscribe button. Thank you very much. Please click them. It really does help, especially that subscribe button. And if you want to click on the ding dong, you'll get notified of all my videos, which I'm trying to do one a day at the moment. And don't forget, down in the description section, uh, there's my link, uh, a link to my Kofi page, which if you could help me out there, that would be very good. Thank you to all those people that have already done so. Very much appreciated. And I'll see you very soon.